about to leave, but I realized I should put the strap on this thing, so I'm gonna do that first. And towards the Crystal Castle show at One Eye Jacks in the French Quarter. I'm gonna take this little bad boy with me and test it out at the show, see how it works. Uh, video wise and still wise. Alright, so let's go. This is my friend Carrie. Hello. Uh, we're right outside One Eye Jacks right now. We're um, waiting to get into the uh, Crystal Castle show. Uh, right now there's a line. Here, let me show you the line. So we're just waiting for that to shorten up a bit more and then we're going to go uh, attempt to go inside. So hopefully we can get in and see the show and then I'll be taking some pictures and getting some video, see how well this camera performs inside the venue in there. So we'll hopefully we'll see if that works. I think, it, I think this camera's going to be awesome for that. It is. God, it feels amazing. 
we just got done with the Crystal Castle show. We survived. How did how did you what were your thoughts on that? It was bright. <laughs> it was very bright. It was very um, laser inducing. Well, one of the bartenders put on sunglasses. Seizure inducing, really maybe possibly. No, it was a great show, but the light show was yeah, it was, intense. It was a little intense. Yeah, and I I, I think my I tried to film as much of it as I can, but cock just bent. How's your cock? His cock just bent. His cock just bent. Her cock bent more so. All of our cock just bent. Just now. It's a it's a very rare phenomenon. Yes. That's pretty amazing. We are now going to another bar, Spitfire. All right. Yep. Taxi cab just almost ran me over. And that's what happens here in the city. Anyway, so we're going to Spitfire, um, which is down lower Decatur. Uh, we're gonna go listen to some 80s synth stuff. I just every like every time I come down here, I, I can't help but remember the the Tyler Perry um, Passion of the Christ thing, that giant cross that came. I saw. I was standing right here when the cross went by. Yes. What was that like? Was that weird? Um, it was like kind of anticlimactic, like uh -huh. the opposite of the light show we saw tonight. You know? Uh huh. But uh, it was funny because you know that dude that kind of wears devil horns and has a wagon of music, and he like you know who I'm talking about. He wears yeah, yeah. tuxedos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he just took that as a huge opportunity. He had like the cross, and you know, just. Uh huh. So it, it was really funny, actually. That was that was the highlight. Of that experience, yeah. You're, you're a Kiwi? Oh. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. In the car and he says, hey man, y'all wanna ride? I'm like, yeah, dude, we got like 30 fucking blocks to walk. He get, we fucking get in the car and he start passing around weed, that Orange Jubilee Mad Dog 2020. Power locks the doors, said, man, you know, okay, can I tell you where we're going? Sit there and shut the fuck up. He goes, man, we're going block after block. I'm looking over at Rob, we're scared, we're on ass. He's like, we're gonna die, I don't like you. All of a sudden, this motherfucker pulls up in front of his, in my boy Rob's house. Now we're walking with our backs to his front door, because we're certain he's gonna get, we're gonna get shot. Something gonna fucking happen. And that guy goes, er, turns his car around, rolls his window down, and says, hey man, we're your garbage men, we see you every day. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. How you doing, John? Hey, doing well, doing yeah. well. Where are you coming from right now? Uh, work, work. Just got off work, uh, work at the Hotel Royal. Yeah, yeah. Work, was work good? Was work, work hard? Work was not in the slightest hard. Hey, DJ, right now, a lot of people have to work for me.
I thought that guy was on the phone, but he's actually just talking to himself. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. 